Welcome back, boys and girls. And 20 years of Quest for the Elk Meat has finally arrived today. So I've been aging my Elk Meat for 11 days now, and today I'm gonna process it, and tonight we're gonna enjoy it with a glass of wine. And I'm hoping this will be as good as we expected, because my wife Julian told me that only way that I'm going back to elk hunting in Montana is if this elk is better than whitetail venison. And I, I'm really hoping it will be because I tell you, white is a great. I'm just hoping this is like home run. We'll see. Now, one thing that I noticed about elk meat is that it smells less than white tail venison. And the fibrative tissue is like this white, very tough fiber tissue. They're at least four, four or five times thicker than white tail. So I want to make sure I remove them off. This is going to take a bit more time. Because I want to make sure we have the best air possible. And you can see all that white fibrous tissue. I want to remove that so that you won't be too chewy. Okay. Oh man, that's a lot of work. But anyway, in the past 20 years, I've processed over 100 deer because my family harvested over 100 deer. And Trust me, I price every single one of them. So I'm very familiar with uh, different portion of meat. And uh, I thought this is just a bigger version of deer. Uh, yes, again, I mean, that's so humongous. It's really hard to tell what belongs to what. And the muscle grain is so much thicker, it confuses me a little bit. But this right here is a little bit less than a half of the elk. So I think it's gonna be like two or three times bigger than deer. Uh, when it comes to meat, but I think it's going to be more like four or five times, so. But anyway, I should have kept my mouth shut, but I got so excited, I told everybody how great the hunt was and how way it went. So now, everybody wants to hand out, so I just got to show some love. Okay, believe it or not, this is a tenderloin of that elk. Uh, thank you, Ma. You had this set, set aside for me. And this is what we're going to have for today's uh, dinner and nothing but the best for a uh, first timer. Anyway, the tenderloin on this elk is actually thicker than the uh, back straps of a white tail. So that tells you how big they are. This is the heart, it's big as my head. And um, as you process the meat, you want to wipe off the excess blood. That way you won't have that gamey taste. But again, this is the size of our heart. Pretty crazy, huh? Wow, look at this. Look at the size of the tendon. I mean, back stripe here. And this is not even the whole length. This is gonna be great steaks. Okay, you wanna leave your steak out in the room temperature for about 30 minutes before you cook it. Now, once one back stripe steak, we season it with salt and pepper, and the rest we're gonna just cook it with the espresso barbecue sauce as we, as we usually do it because I want to be fair. But anyway, uh, I also got two pieces of a uh, heart there too. I want to try that as well. Here's my wife's famous espresso barbecue sauce. Oh man, this stuff is really, really good. We like to have our steaks with uh, onion and mushroom, uh, seasoned with all the salt and pepper. You want to preheat the pan and seal the steak on each side for only about one minute on each side. Look at that, aren't they beautiful? Oh, and they smell great already. There's two pieces of hot, and uh, since we got the salt and pepper only on this side, we're gonna let it uh, cook each side another minute. We're gonna let it rest for about five minutes, and then I'm gonna reheat it with uh, espresso sauce, and for one with salt and pepper, I'm gonna just let that cook another minute on each side. That way we'll have a nice uh, medium rare and which is really nice brown outside and juicy inside. Okay, well after resting up for five minutes, we're just gonna reheat it just for about a couple of minutes and with a espresso sauce in it, just have it really get in there. And that there right that right there is salt and pepper we try to get another couple of minutes. Okay, now I'm going to turn the feet off. And we are ready to enjoy it. Okay, here's the moment of truth. I've done everything I can. Oh, look at that. 
is cooked perfectly. Here we go. Wow. I really don't want to put say bad things about my white tip pasta, but this is better than white tip for sure. Honey, I think we have a new menu from now on. I see Montana in our future travels. Now this elk backstrap steak really tastes like lean beef, just like Ron said. And uh, it doesn't have any gamey taste. Um, really very surprised actually. And the texture uh, is very much like a beef. And my wife June, she's very happy with it. According to my wife, this elk meat has umami taste, which is very particular in beef and she's very happy with it. I am over the hill with it and I'm gonna be applying for the tags and whenever I get lucky, I'm in Montana. Oh, we're in Montana, right babe? Yeah, she nodded. Okay, I have good news and a bad news. The good news is we love the elk steak. Uh, in conclusion, elk is definitely better than white tail in every aspect, except the white tail is more tender. Now, we really love the white tail backstrap steak and I have my pride in it. Now, the bad news is that since my wife likes the elk so much, now I have to try to get more elks in the future. So, but then it's not really up to me, it's up to God. And lastly, like always, thank God for what you have. Enjoy your life with what you got, but mostly God is great. See you.